we have here is a uh, DV6000 board it was sent to us for reflow and uh, just like everything else we'll reflow it we have it on the heater heating right now and uh, after we get done reflowing it uh, we'll clean up the heat sink uh, put some thermal compound on it and put it back together and turn it on and see what happens so with this one we're reflowing it like we do all our typical uh, reflows it has a go 6150 processor on it so what we're going to do is uh, reflow this one and um, then we're going to reflow this NF430 chip and then put it on the uh, testing to see what happens to it and go from there so now we've uh, started reflowing the NF430 chipset and after we get done with that we'll see if it uh, boots up of course we'll have to let it cool down for about 30 minutes or so but uh, after that time's done we'll hook it up to the test rig see what video we get out of it and make sure everything burns in properly so the user with the DV6000 also sent us a DV4 board uh, this is an AMD board and it has the uh, Northridge chipset right there and the Southridge chipset over here on the back side so what we're going to do is put it on the heater, heat it up, and reflow it. Uh, and like we stated with our previous uh, repairs of these systems, you have to do the chipset on the back for the repair to take properly. It's underneath the copper piece of plastic, and so for you to get it done, you have to redo it like that. So um, that's what happens. But we'll put it on the heater and then go from there and see what happens. As a rule of thumb with all our repairs uh, on these DV4s, we're going to do the uh, top side first and then switch to the bottom side. So we're going to let this board heat up and then we're going to switch it over and reflow it on the south bridge. But for right now, we start with the north bridge and then move to the south bridge and then go from there. So we're just uh, reflowing this north bridge chipset. But uh, as you can tell, we get relatively close to that chipset, and it's because the ATI chipsets can withstand more heat than, than the NVIDIA chipsets. So we can actually do longer exposures and closer exposure rates to uh, these systems than we can the NVIDIAs, and that's why we do it as close as we do. But um, as you can see, we're just reflowing that one right now and then we'll go from there all right so we have dv4 here that we just replayed and what we're going to do is turn it on and uh see if we get a uh, video out of it so it appears that we're getting a uh, display and it appears it started it up and what we're going to do is uh, let this system run and do its burn in for two hours or so. Lucky for us, we had a test rig from a previous system sitting here, so we can get that done. Alright, so we have our DV6000 board hooked up, and we're going to turn it on. So we get the lights, and we'll see if we get video here. It appears we have video. So, uh, we're just going to let this run for two hours also. Um, document that serial number and uh, everything else, and we'll let it go. Let it do what it's supposed to do, and then go from there. See what happens.